Have you ever found yourself in a position where you just want to play unlimited, just win games and enjoy yourself doing it? Just putting your best cards in a squad and not worrying about overall or whatever else nonsense for some kind of glitch to make your games easier. If you are the type of person who wants his games to be easier because he became better at the game, go get yourself a cup of coffee, sit down, relax and let me give you the tips that led me to easy 12 unknown runs in the past. Before we begin, please smash that subscribe button for more fire content and help me reach that 500 sub mark. Please? Have you done it? Done it already? Alright, let's go. Hey, yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome to my first more in-depth kind of tutorial, instructional type of video. Uh, I just want to say that, like, just to begin with, I just want to say that uh, I think of myself as a decent caliber player. I finished last season with uh, 67 wins and 6 losses in Unlimited. Uh, I got the Iggy and... Uh, most of the losses that I had happened at the beginning of the season were when I actually pretty much only started playing my team and I was running super 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 budget squad and the first thing I want to tell you is that I don't believe in running a five-man squad I just don't it, it just doesn't work if you play on next gen it just doesn't work because matchmaking is completely random and uh, you won't win with five guys uh, if you're playing against a decent guy who has a 10 guy squad because well I mean that team team overall is gonna be random anyway and if you're playing on current gen there are so many people doing it that at the end of the day it just comes down to skill anyway and just get all your 10 of your wanted players in, in and enjoy yourself and enjoy not having to look at that G letter next to your player's name for half of the game. Number one in today's top tips list is just chill. And chill comes down to two categories really. Uh, your mental state and the way you play the game. There's a lot of people who go in a matchup already thinking that they will lose. It doesn't help, I'll tell you that much. Me personally, I was and well, still am a pro-am player and coming to my team uh, where I'll have to control all five uh, players seemed a bit overwhelming to me at first and made me doubt myself. And with a few wins, I got my confidence and that confidence led me to even easier games. So find a way to bring out that inner confidence in you which I already know you have and it will be way easier to play when your palms are not sweaty. And chill on the court as well. Remember, you have 24 seconds every possession. You don't have to throw passes through the whole court on the first bump, you always have time just to stand still there for a second and consider your next move if needed. And if you don't know where and why your next pass is going, there is a super super high chance that it will end up in a turnover. And turnovers, well turnovers lose games, especially if it's a close game, one or two turnovers could lose the, could lose the whole game for you and use your icons for passes as, as much as you can. Turn on full receiver control if needed uh, so you can be sure where the receiver is gonna be when you pass and you just prevent your turnovers that way. And as I mentioned before, every turnover could lead to a loss, even a single one. And every prevented turnover just might lead you to a win. Sounds difficult so far? It is, it's because it is. And it has to be, but it's worth it. You become a legitimately better player without any glitches or any other crap. Let's move on to the second one. Number two is defense rotations. This honestly is probably the most important one. Good offense wins games and uh, good defense just wins championships. You definitely heard that phrase before at least once or, or even more times in your life. 2K is super super offensive oriented game, which means that offense is easy and defense is tough. Uh, if you play the tough part good, the easy part will just work itself out in one way or the other. And uh, now here, I'm sorry but I'll have to tell you that you will win way, way, way more games playing off ball than playing on ball. It, it just the way it is and you have to accept that no matter how good your on-ball defense is. If your opponent is just, just plays straight 5 out and you can clamp him on ball, well good for you, keep doing that and just Keep on doing what you're doing, it means you're on a good good track. But if he does anything else, you will need to move all of your players on defense. So you just cannot stay on ball all the time. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that you just have to 
be off ball all game. No, you still need to just close down on your defenders sometimes. You just have to do it. Uh, but yeah, you have to control all five of your players instead of just one. AI movement is just so, so stupid. And no matter what kind of defense settings you have on, if someone runs an effective play, they can score with that play on every single possession if you don't control your whole defense and not just one player. If you want to take your defense to even higher level, you have to keep baiting with everyone on a court and basically rotating and defending two guys with someone who is close to the guy baiting. So uh, if let's say someone you just trying to bait with someone who, who defends the corner, you have to bait with him and then uh, take the guy who is defending that uh, 45, that wing and defend two guys. So the corner and the wing. And this is probably the best the best kind of defense that you have to, that you can play I guess in this in this game uh, also you can go ahead and try to uh, rotate and bait with uh, well with the other corner and uh, you just have to keep your opponent guessing all game and it, once he starts guessing he's lost he doesn't know what to do he doesn't know how to how to play offense against you and he will get clamped trust me there's so many bad players in this game who who are start well who start panicking as soon as something different starts happening and uh, as soon as they start panicking well, you pretty much you pretty much on your way to win honestly if you master that help baiting rotation uh kind of defense I mean, you're really close to the level of people playing in all those 250k tournaments. I'm for real, completely. That good defense, it will get you that far. Also, if you see that man-to-man -man defense isn't really working all that well for you, uh, don't be afraid to switch it to zone. If you're not comfortable with it, just make sure you, that you practice. We talking about practice. In some, especially in some easier games, like if you see that you're winning by 15-20 and you know that you will win the game, just switch it to zone so you can get more, more comfortable with it. Also, if you are not comfortable with it at all, just go in with uh, go in unlimited, uh, just any match, and uh, go in with the mindset that you will be learning how to play zone no matter what the score is. Just go in and play. Just get used to who you have to move at which point and you will see improvement in your gameplay. Trust me, you might lose a few games because because of this and you might seem it might seem like you're getting stuck somewhere in some kind of tier, but it will make you a better player at the end of the day and it will help you a lot in the long run. Number three on the list is learning the icons of every one of your player at any given time. You just have to know them by heart. If you if you're sleeping and someone wakes you up, you must be able to tell which of your players is which icon on the court and this is one of the reasons why i'm super conservative about changing my roster once i get settled with some guys i just like to play at least 20 30 games with the, with them just because i know like how they look and what's their player model and uh, where are they on the court most of the time and if someone changes their position because I made one roster move and someone like uh, let who am I running, running uh, let's say Cameron Reddish if he moves from shooting guard to small forward I might mess up on defense because well I was so sure that he was a circle uh, or a B on Xbox and now he's a square or a, uh, what is it uh, X on Xbox and uh, I just messed up on offense or on defense doesn't matter it could leave just lead me to like messing up for for a moment it could lead me to lead me to letting opponent score or uh, lead me to throw in a scary and stupid pass and a turnover and if it's close game if it's a close game I mean those couple of couple of mistakes does lead to, to a loss at the end so uh, that's why just learning uh, every single icon is so 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 important and uh, it doesn't really matter what you do like whether it's offense or defense if someone let's say is pressing you or double teaming you you want the ball go straight to the open guy let's say you see four guys on the court and all of them have a defender near them but you are getting double teamed you know that fifth guy let's say previously mentioned cam reddish is open and you know that he's circle you don't want 
to like you don't want that pass in between to get uh, to get the ball to him you want to pass straight to him so this is why it's important on offense and on defense i think it's even more important whether you play man or zone you need to know who you are switching to Especially it's super easy when you play zone. Uh, if you know that X and square are defending that uh, left side oh, and circle and triangle are defending that right side, uh, you just add that knowledge to the rotations that we talked about and you, you will be a super huge problem to your opponents. Trust me on that. If you're running a good zone and you can keep on baiting and still manage to, uh, well, hold your uh, hold the corners so, so they cannot shoot, you will be a really, really mon you will have really, really monstrous de defense, and you will be a tough, tough, tough problem and a tough zone to break. Number four on today's list is watching streams. If you have time to watch a video like this, I'm sure you have 30 minutes to watch a stream every now and then. It doesn't have to be a daily thing, surely. Uh, but yeah, I, I definitely, I'm, I'm sure that you have some favorite YouTubers who stream from time to time. You can even watch me if you want, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday from 7 p.m. UK time. Come and chill, Twitch link, Twitch link in the description below. Just go ahead and watch any streamer that you want and analyze how they play. Uh, watch those games without any cuts like you would see in uh, uh, their YouTube videos because when you see the whole gameplay, it's a bit of a different image uh, than, well, the cuts that they like the most that they cut out and uh, analyze what they do. Don't just watch it for, entertain for entertainment, especially like, of course you can watch it for entertainment if you want to, but if you want to become a better player, uh, let's say what I do and uh, I, I did before and I'm still doing it just to, to improve because, well, as, as mentioned before, I'm still not, I'm not that good. I cannot easily go to 67 and zero through the unlimited and I know, I know my points where I need to improve. So what I'm doing to, to do, to, well, to improve basically, is I go and watch their VODs because VODs you can stop, you can stop at any point in their VOD and uh, I just stop pretty much on every possession and uh, try to think and analyze what they did and why they did it. This improved my game immensely, honestly. Uh, this works basically for every game mode and even every game. Uh, fast decision making is extremely important in all video games and if you analyze enough you can take their decision habits to yourself and well maybe you'll play even better than they do. And last but not the least, just enjoy the game or more like play as long as you enjoy it. Uh, frustration is one of the main things that leads to losses. If you're in a game and you're feeling that algo is working against you or stuff just doesn't work out, it happens, it definitely happens to everyone, well at least try not to get frustrated. I know it's easier said than done, uh, but we all know that this game, well it's far from being perfect far from it and uh, this thought should be the one that's that you have in your head but uh well when all the random things against you start happening and there's well it just seems like there is nothing you can do trust me frustration well it will not help and if you finished your game frustrated just take a break get some food get a cup of coffee play a different game just go for a walk whatever well whatever you need to take your mind off these things and uh well to to get that frustration away season is long and uh, there's plenty of time to get all those uh, 67 wins and uh, starting a game frustrated will most likely just lead you to another loss and even more anger and this is not what we want from any video game that we play so, and that is gonna be it for today's tips i honestly i feel like i just only scratched the surface uh, here and i could honestly make a separate video about every single one of these uh points that i made and uh, if you enjoyed listening and want to hear more let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely do that. I'll definitely take any any possible ideas for the video. Uh, but for now, if you already listened to this point, uh, just leave a like and write in the comments, defense wins championships. So uh, that I know that you are the real MVP. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and now I'm out. Peace.